Good morning, everyone. So today's editorial session is really uh, very interesting. It's related to the speech uh, which was given by the Honorable Prime Minister of India yesterday at Red Fort. Okay, so the editorial is about meeting India's aspirations. So what aspiration means? It means a hope or ambition of achieving something. So uh, we must aware of inspiration. Inspiration when we uh, get in inspiration from someone else, like if someone is uh, very successful, then we get inspired by see that passion, by observing that passion. But aspiration is uh, something which is like a hope or ambition which come from uh, towards uh, from inside of ourselves. Okay, so on Modi's ninth day speech, it's about Modi's ninth day speech. This time the speech is ninth. Okay, so India needs better governance for the sake of its own people, not global approbation. So uh, the editorial is about that India need governance for its own people, not for the global things, not for other countries approval and all. We, uh, we need a strong government for ourselves only, for our own people. Okay, so let's go to the editorial. The first para is about Prime Minister Prime Minister Narendra, Narendra Modi rightly described independent India's 75 years journey as one of ups and downs in his ninth speech from the stately red fort on Monday. So red fort, we all uh, know about red fort. Uh, in Hindi, it's known as Lal Kila. On Monday, um, <coughs> I mean yesterday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, gave his speech and he, there he described that uh, that journey of 75 years. It's not like so easy. There's some ups, there's some downs. Okay. And uh, stately, stately means formal or impressive. Praising those who fought for India's freedom. And Narendra Modi praised those people who fought for India's freedom. The Prime Minister pointed to the country's achievement even as he acknowledged the challenges of fulfilling the pressing needs of an ever aspirational society tugging at the seams of government. Okay, so in this first para, what uh, we have learned, like uh, here talking about that Narendra Modi gave his uh, speech uh, in on Monday at Red Fort, and there he praised those who fought for India's freedom, and then mm, he mentioned that government should uh, give a lot of effort so that they can so that they can fulfill uh, the wish of the peoples who live in India. Okay, so let's go to the next para. Here, tagging means pulling something. Okay, it's about national pride and self-esteem were dominant themes. He asked the country to read itself. So to read itself is a phrase. It means uh, get rid of something. Uh, we can say like uh, to cause to no longer have or be affected by someone. Uh, simply we can say get rid of something to read itself. Uh, of the need to look for approval from abroad. So here um, Modi, uh, uh, sorry. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, told that we don't need any approval from abroad. Asking the question about how long India could go on living on certificates from abroad. He asked a question related to that, uh, like how long India uh, will live on those certificates from abroad. Like we don't need the certificates from abroad. The Prime Minister wondered 
why India could not develop its own markers. Uh, Prime Minister uh, uh, told us that we should think about like uh, our own people, uh, our own markers should be there. We don't need any certificate from abroad. Okay, so our own certificate is enough. We don't need any approval from uh, abroad other countries. Okay, so let's go to the third para. Okay, so it's about though Mr. Modi provided no contents, context to these remarks, his comments could indicate his unhappiness with international criticism. So uh, even though Modi didn't provide any con context re regarding this remark, but uh, his comment with the help of his comment, we can determine easily that he is unhappy with international criticism directed at his government on government governance and human rights issues. So he really don't like those uh, comments which given by internationally, like uh, those international criticism, uh, our prime minister uh, don't like those. Successive uh, prime minister have used their independence day species as a stock taking of their government's record and as an insight to what the nation might face. So then uh, Prime Minister uh, explained that uh, the Independence Day species, uh, what Prime Minister, like former Prime Ministers did, like they just use it for species where they just talking about what they have done. Uh, during their government period okay so they just explain uh like what the government's record and what the nation might face uh, because of those work what they have done for our country those things uh they are explained they were explaining in their speeches before okay so i think you got my point so let's go to the next para I think it's uh, para four. With two years left for the general election, the prime minister was in an expansive mood, taking up issues of omen safety, energy self-reliance, celebrating the diversity of India. So since we have only two years, only two years left for general election and Yesterday, Prime Minister was talking about uh, some issues related to Amin Siddhi, energy self-reliance, celebrating the diversity of India. Diversity means there's a lot of uh, uh, every uh, there's a lot of states in India. Every state have their own culture, so it's like diversity of India. The need to respect all languages. We should respect all the languages in India. Uh, there's a lot of languages. For example. Hindi, Bengali, Marathi, a lot of uh, languages are there, so we need to respect all and uh, promising an all out war against corruption and Paribarbad or, or the pernicious influence of dynasty. So, here we have a uh, important word, pernicious, it means harmful effect. Uh, Mod, uh, the, uh, sorry, Nanja Modi talk about. Pinesis influence of dynasty. There's a harmful effect of dynasty, uh, and there's a lot of problem related to corruption, related to Paribarbad. So he mentioned those things in his speech yesterday. Okay, so let's go to the next para. The prime minister asks the people to give him their blessing as the battle against corruption enters a decisive phase where even the big uh, where even the big fish will not be spared okay so here uh, in this para uh, prime minister told yesterday like people he want the blessing of people of india uh, so that he can 
he can do a battle against corruption and he mentioned about big fish that like he 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 was telling about those people who is so rich they are related to corruption so he uh, will caught to he will catch those also like no one can uh, able to get rid of this like if there is someone who is a big fish like who is very famous and he enroll himself in some corruption then he also need to suffer even as he dwelt on governance issue mr modi laced his speech with a political appeal mr modi was silent about his promises made in 2016 uh 2016 to doubt double the income of farmers by the nine by the time uh country celebrated its 75 independence day so uh around 2016 mr modi mentioned that uh till 75th independence day he uh, he, tra- he tried to uh double the income of farmers but it's not fulfill yet so uh it's like he was silent about his promises yesterday he should mention like why he couldn't fulfill those promises okay so now let's go to the next para yeah and he also appeal political appeal is also mentioned like he <coughs> appeal to the people to support support his uh, party okay so the next para is however however he did lay out his vision for an amrit kal or developed age in the next 25 years the 100 year of independence in 2047 then he mentioned about amrit kal which is amrit kal amrit kal he mentioned like when india will have completed 100 years of india's independence uh, it will happen uh, in 2047 25 years later he mentioned that in amrit kal he will fulfill all those promises all everything will be fine and he named the the year 2047 as amrit kal details of how the country would reach the objective were uh, scanty apparently kept for another day um but the thing is that he mentioned about um amrit kal but the thing is that the country would reach how the country would reach that position is like scanty so what scanty means actually scanty uh, is an adjective it means small or insufficient in quantity or amount that means he didn't mention how he will reach that amrit kal okay so scanty is an adjective it means insufficient we can say and apparently kept for another day it seems like he maybe he kept for he kept it for another day another day he will mention about amrit kal okay so let's go to the next para okay in keeping with the bhartiya janta party's new status as the national party of governance the prime minister underlined that india had got a stable government after many decades so then he mentioned that uh, after many decades um, after many decades uh, the party bhartiya janta party uh, get a stable government like um, Uh, because it's his ninth speech so yeah we can say that it's like a stable government after many decades we got this stable de- government uh, resulting in speedy decision making there was little in his 82 minute speech about the st- strategic challenges before the country in the wake of tension at the borders and turbulence in the international order following the russia in mention of ukraine so uh, then editor they who have written this uh, i mean the author uh, um telling us that 
uh, there was little in his 82 minutes speech. Uh, his speech is little, 82 minutes only. And he uh, didn't talk about, I mean, our Honorable Prime Minister didn't talk about the tensions uh, occurring on the border and the turbulence in the international order like Russia, Ukraine war, the problems regarding to those uh, international war or the tension at the borders okay okay i think you got my point like he should mention about those things according to the author okay so let's jump to the next pair okay to to achieve its full potential India must not only be able to overcome many obstacles that hold it back, but also sail with the rest of the world in in meeting. Uh, sorry. To achieve its full potential, India must not only be able to overcome many obstacles that hold it back, but also sail with the rest of the world in meeting the benchmark of democratic rights, equitable distribution of wealth, and access to health and education. So, governments should uh, think more about uh, the democratic rights, equitable distribution of wealth, and uh, equally uh, give the uh, help regarding health and education. So, every people of India should get uh, health, education, and world, equitable. Okay, so it should be equitable distribution. So it's not happening yet. That means uh, in uh, the government should think about it. And I just want to mention one thing here, like benchmark and turbulence. These are some words which we have already learned in our uh, previous editorial session. So I just want you to comment. Uh, the meaning of benchmark and turbulence because we already discussed these things in our previous um, editorial sessions. Okay, um, equitable distribution of wealth, health, and edu education should be there. India might not need approval from other countries, but it needs to do better on rights and freedom, welfare, and justice. So uh, here, author mentioning that. Um, uh, India might not need the approval from other countries from abroad, but it need better on rights, freedom, welfare, and justice, growth, development in our uh, country, in our own country. Uh, it should be equal, like wealth, health, uh, education should get everyone. And in building a more egalitarian society so egalitarian it's a new word it's a good vocab uh, <clears throat> it's an adjective we should say it will be like equal or if i have to explain it more than it will be like believing in or based on the principle that all people are equal and these are equal rights and opportunity so equal rights and opportunity should be gained by every Indian people. So we need a egalitarian society. So this is all about today's editorial. Okay. So what is the tone of editorial? It should be informative because um, the author gave us information related yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Um, speech of our honorable prime minister and it's an analytical issue as well because um, we need uh, governments to think to make our country make our societies eg egalitarian uh, everyone should get uh, equal amount of wealth health and education we don't need approval from other countries but we need to make our country grow and stable and it will be egalitarian okay so that this this is all about today's editorial thank you so much 
Okay, so if I have to mention those uh, words, then what we have learned, like vocab, we have learned scanty, adjective, which means insufficient or small quantity. Then egalitarian, we have learned, which means equal. Then uh, we have learned one phrase, uh, which is uh, read itself up. Okay, read itself up means get rid of something. Yeah, this is all about today's editorial. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks to all the participants. Yeah.